In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Docker Nginx RTMP container to restream your stream to multiple services using Linux. To start things off, this video assumes that you have Linux Mint and Docker installed on the computer you wish to handle RTMP streams. If you don't meet these requirements, don't worry. I have a playlist in the video description that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get here. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website hub.docker.com and select Explore. Now type in the search box nginx-rtmp and press enter. We want the first result as it's updated often and has the highest user rating. Click the result titled Tiangolo slash NGINX dash RTMP. Once on this page, scroll down to where it says how to use. This is the installation command for this particular package. Highlight the command and select copy. Now open a terminal window. Right click on the terminal window and paste the command. Press enter and Docker will download it and start the container. Verify the container is running by typing in the following command docker space container space ls. We can see that our new container has been running for about six seconds. The next thing you're going to want to do is install a better text editor into your new container. So let's log into the container and do that. You can log into any container shell by typing in this command and using our container ID. The command is docker space exec space dash it the container ID space bash. The container ID we need is right above the command line. So highlight the Nginx container ID, right click and select copy. Next, paste it at the end of our command line. Now finish up the command by typing space B-A-S-H. Then press enter. You can see that the command prompt has changed, which means we are now inside the Docker container. What we want to do now is install the Nano Text Editor so we can adjust our RTMP settings. To do that, type the following commands. apt-get space update and press enter. Let it update anything it might need and continue on. Now we type the following command apt space install space nano that's n-a-n-o this should only take a few moments from here let's open up our nginx config file to do that type the following command nano space forward slash etc forward slash nginx forward slash nginx dot c-o-n-f and press enter here we can see a bunch of configuration options, most of which we won't be touching. Let's give ourselves a little working room. Use your arrow keys to move the cursor above the application live text and press enter to bring it down a few lines. Now move the cursor below the closing curly bracket and do the same to give us some space below. With our application live config having been spaced out, we can start. If you're only looking to stream to a single location and you're not looking to do local recording, automatic record file management, or transcoding, you can simply use this config block alone. For example, here is how I would set up the config to stream to Twitch. First, I would start a new line after where it says record off and type the following command. Push space RTMP colon slash slash live dot iad dot twitch dot tv slash app slash your stream key then i'd put a semicolon at the end now this may be enough for you and if it is you can save the config file and move on however i'm going to suggest a way that i believe is better my method would allow much more flexibility in the future especially when it comes to local file recording, automatic FLV to MP4 conversion, and full transcoding, all of which will be covered in a future video. To future-proof your config file, do the following. 
After the closing curly bracket, we are going to create another config block. To do this, type application space live open curly bracket new line live space on semicolon new line record space off semicolon new line and then the server you're actually streaming to which is probably twitch of course followed by a semicolon and then we finish it all off with a closing curly bracket oh but wait both applications are now named live we don't want that so let's fix the name of the second one to stream out next we go to the first one and edit the RTMP out setting 127.0.0.1 forward slash stream out. What's happening with this config is the stream client streams to the server utilizing the live endpoint. Then the live endpoint forwards that stream over to the stream out, which actually sends the video to Twitch and Mixer and so on. Now I know some people may ask, why would you add a step in the process by using two? Well, to be honest, generally speaking, it's easier to manage. Because here's what you can do. The first one could handle complex functions, and the second one would be dedicated to feeding the streams to their desired locations. Alternatively, let's say you wanted to set this up as a transcoding server, where you actually encode your videos on the server. Now with my setup, you have a choice here for local recording where you could record the incoming stream, which may be at like 20,000 kilobits per second, or the outgoing stream, which could be at 4,000 kilobits per second. You tell me, what quality of stream would you like for local editing and YouTube uploads? The lower quality Twitch stream or the high resolution, high bitrate copy? My setup in the future will allow you to get the best quality copy by breaking apart the actual serving of the stream into two different processes. But anyway, as it stands now, if you only need a rebroadcasting server by setting it up like this, you'll be ready for later should your requirements change. So set up your configuration file like this, point your stream software to the live endpoint, and you should be good. Just to cover it, Let's say you also wanted to add a, another stream location, like you want to stream to Twitch and Mixer, you would simply add a new push line right below our Twitch push line like this. Push RTMP colon slash slash Mixer URL slash your stream key semicolon and you'd be good to go. It would stream to both of them. Add as many stream locations as your internet can handle and that's all the configuration you have to do when it comes to this setup. Now, we're not going to be streaming on the internet. We're going to test this locally. I do know for a fact this does work otherwise. But what we're going to do is we're going to comment these two push lines out by putting hashtags in front of them. This way, the server isn't constantly trying to stream to uh, a non-location. So now we'll save the file, which can be done by holding down Control and pressing X on the keyboard. The system will ask, would you like to save the modified file? Select yes. And now the system will ask you to confirm the file being overwritten. Press enter to confirm and you can close the terminal. From here, open a new terminal. Type in docker space container space ls to get your container ID. Now type in docker space restart and then the container ID, which you can copy and paste from above. Press enter. And now the new configuration settings should have taken effect. Now for testing, the first thing we're going to do is get our IP address of the server. And then we're going to open up OBS on our stream PC and configure it to stream through our Nginx server. To do that, go to settings, stream, choose custom service, type RTMP colon slash slash, the IP address of the server followed by slash live. Click apply and OK. Now start a test stream. And we can see from the status indicators in OBS that we're successfully streaming to our server. Let's see what the test stream looks like via VLC. So we'll open up VLC, select media, open network stream and type in the following RTMP colon slash slash the IP address of the server slash stream out. 
And there you have it. We can see that the server is indeed handling the RTMP stream correctly. Now that we know the server works, we only have to configure a few remaining things on Docker. For example, is the Nginx server starting up with the computer? I don't think it is. So let's check it and fix it. First, let's do a quick restart. Back on the desktop, open up terminal and type in the following command. Docker space container space ls. And with that, we can see that none of our containers are currently running. A quick note here, you can list all the containers in your system by typing in docker space ps dash a. To modify an existing container to auto restart with system restart, type in the following command docker space update space dash dash restart equals always space the container ID, which we'll copy from above and press enter. Once that's done, let's start the container by typing in the following command docker space start space the container ID, press enter. Now let's check the status by typing in one more time docker space container space ls and press enter. And we can see Nginx is running. So let's do one more test and restart the computer. Back at the desktop, open a terminal and type docker space container space ls and press enter. And there it is. Nginx now auto starts with the computer. And with that, your server is basically set up. Aside from modifying the config files with your actual information, you're good to go. Well guys, those are the basics to make a Linux Docker server based Nginx multi-stream server. Hopefully this video has helped you. And as always guys, if you like this video and want more like it, do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.